guys, it's me, Rachel, here with Senza Tempo Connie Corso. And um, just wanted to show you guys what we just got. The dogs think that it is for them. They think that it's they think that it's a glorif like the supreme chew stick. So it's gonna be tough uh, making sure that everybody understands that it's not. So Benny, can you get that? The tape came off somebody's ear. I think it was Vitani's ear. Um, that would be a very expensive stick to give to them. Yeah, this thing cost uh, a small little fortune. I, it's actually custom made for um, Enzo. And uh, we drove literally two hours to pick this thing up because um, we just couldn't find one. Um, and, um, and so the lady said that there's a guy in san antonio who will actually custom make uh, make them for you so this is actually handmade um specifically to our specifications for enzo so i just wanted to show you guys um that's why we weren't able to upload today or well really not much today because of this um Spinna, can you can you check on them yeah. we just the the I, i'm she calling them the twins she, now she wants it to they're in there eating um so yeah they should be finished eating Hold on to that so that they don't over. what oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah so yeah so this is the first time that the dogs other than preacher has seen it mad mortigan has seen it and um misha has seen it we took all of them with us to san antonio um to purchase uh to purchase it yeah we did not we did not interact we social distanced hey batista well, she jumped all over him. Vitani is a bit much right now. She's going through a phase. Yeah, look at that. He's like, hey. She's, yeah, she's going through a phase where she's at. Vitani, go! Go! Where she's basically being a bit too boisterous. Um, oh, nope. She's pushing it around. Um, Vitani, go! Go! Now! Go! Good girl. Um, so, anyway. So... Yeah, Batista was like, no, Batani, hey, hey, you go right now, you get, oh, you're a bad dog, that's a bad dog, you go, you go, you go. Good girl, come on, go outside. She's being a bad dog. Told you, she's going through a phase. She's like, mom, it's not a phase. Um, what's up, Biggin, you hungry? He's like, feed me, woman, feed me, woman. Yeah, we've we've been gone, so we haven't. We're ju we're just now starting to feed them. The puppies just ate. And we're feeding them one by one, but I did just want to show you guys this. Um, also, I'm taking in Blondie for an ultrasound on Monday to confirm her pregnancy. Um, so she looks pregnant, and then sometimes she doesn't look pregnant to me. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if we're just feeding her too much and she's getting chunky or what, but I just want to be sure. So, um, hey, Batista, don't chase the cat. Um, so anyway, so yeah. Also, we took down the chicken thing because they're outside and yeah, we were sweeping in here, cleaning it all up. So that's why the cow hide's gone. The cat and the and Misha are having a moment. Misha, Psh. Misha, you leave that cat alone. Um, so anyway, yeah, she's all about the kisses. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you guys this. We're really super excited about it. Also, um, yeah, maybe we'll get him this weekend. We're hoping that we do. Um, really cat. He's literally trying to tease the, um, trying to tease the dogs. Um, and so the cool thing about this thing is that it's, it, you can literally just hose it off. Apparently that's what the woman was telling me that has a really, you can just wipe it off. And it's um, supposed to really last. Who's in there? Maddie. Is that Mad Mortigan? Yeah. We've been—I don't know why—but we've been calling him Maddie. Maddie for short. Savannah has. I call him Mad. I sometimes call him Maddie Mad Mortigan. Yeah, Mad Mortigan. Mad Mortigan. It's supposed to be more manly, not Maddie. Maddie. I call him Mad. Mad, Mad Mortigan. No. Uh, what's up, Biggin? What did you be do? What did you be do? What did you be do? What did you do? Did you jump on me, punk? Yeah, look how big he is, y'all. Literally, he's literally. Um, let's see if I can show. Yeah, so there you go. So you can see how big he is. He's literally taller 
than Blondie now, if you can believe that. Who's oh, you your big dog? Who oh, did you your big dog? Are you big dog? Are you big dog? Are you big dog, Ben Mortigan? Who did you big dog? You can go outside? Do you want to go outside? Will you let him outside? Yes. Okay, Preacher, he apparently wants to go to. Preacher, you want to go potty? You want to go potty? Go potty? Batista, hey. No. Watch yourself, boy. Too turn. Too turn. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Go. Walk the other way. Chill out. You chill out. Yeah. So anyway, um, so this is where we're at on it. Um, also, I wanted to say a big, huge, muchos gracias to, and that's uh, very, it's, it's thank you very much for all of our English speakers here. Speakers here. Um, I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who donated to um, the the fundraiser. I think is it a would it be a, a fundraiser? The the um, the GoFundMe for Jaden that I posted. Um, we haven't reached the goal yet. Yeah, we haven't we haven't reached the goal yet. But you know what? You know every little bit helps. And there were some negative comments. Um, and I guess that's the nature of the internet these days. People just if they can think of something negative to say, they're going to say it. Mm -hmm. And you know it's just really irritating um, to me personally because it's like. You know, some people were like, oh, God, like, that's really expensive. And it's like, yeah, well, if you knew about birds, you'd know that they're very expensive right now. There's actually a shortage of birds right now. Um, there's, a, there's oddly enough, an anti-breeder sentiment in the bird community, which I was really shocked to find out about. Um, especially because, you know, the, the wild varieties are um, suffering, like they're actually, it's even the African greys, they've been taking quite a few of them out of the wild to the point that it has had an impact on the wild, um, on the wild population. And you would think that people would understand that breeding them in captivity would prevent that. Hey, no, don't you dare chew even on that. Even those recent birds um, that passed away. Quit, what I like, say, no, one last no. And their bird passed away, the, the blue macaw or whatever? No, it wasn't well, the Rio, the yeah, that Rio bird. And actually, I looked that up, and there, I think, was 50 of them, of that bird that's that they're saying is extinct. It's not actually extinct. There were captive breeders that were breeding them, and I think 50 of them are going to be or were released into Brazil, which I thought was really interesting. And it's just an indication and proof that breeding these birds, ah, uh -uh, no. Um, in captivity, I said no is the answer, um, and that it's that you know people should not go away. People should not. Um, there's just some people they have an idea and it has no logic behind it, and they're just like, oh, that sounds good, and they just go with it. Savannah, with absolutely no thought process as to whether or not that's actually going to be a good idea in practice or not, and it's definitely not a good idea. Yep. There needs to be people breeding these animals in captivity so that we're not taking them out of the wild. But T Savannah, do not let that dog jump on you. They have a, no. She has a bad habit of no. letting him play too rough with her, which no. I don't like. No, stop it. Um, no. So anyway, so, so it's, but in regards to Jaden, um, so he had actually, if I'm, I heard about his story from the woman I bought the bird from, my bird from, Kathy. She's a wonderful woman. She's very nice. She's very straightforward and very blunt. If she thought that there was any, any possibility that this kid would not be able to take care of this bird, she would not, like, let him adopt them. Like, literally. Like, the reason I've had to wait so long to get my bird is because she wants to make sure that he's old enough and that he's going to be able to maintain weight in his cage. Like, she's really a wonderful, wonderful woman. She cares a lot about her birds. And I guarantee you, she would not let him take that bird if she thought for a second that he couldn't take care of it. We were in there. Um, somebody came in to get a, like, they were just, like, messing around with all the birds. Not serious about getting a bird, really. And just like mm -hmm. messing around, they just wanted to splurge out on some money. And she's like, no, you're not going to buy a bird. Yeah, yeah. She literally, there was a woman there that had the money to buy the birds. And she told the woman no, because she could tell um, that the woman, um, she couldn't even call the birds. She didn't yeah. Know that the, the woman was no good. My poor wall. I still haven't fixed my wall. I can't find anybody to come out here and fix it. But anyway, um, 
so yeah, so you know what I mean? I just personally, um, I, it, it, it does make me sad that people would, would, would find it in their hearts to make negative comments about a young kid trying to, you know, fulfill his dream of having the bird. And from what I understood from Kathy, he was very close to having the money for the bird. And then something happened and he had to spend the money. It was, it was, I, I don't know what it was. Um, I don't know the exact like details. Or something like yeah, it was that. some kind of accident. Something happened. And, um, and so, so anyway, so I felt very moved. Everybody there was just really sad because him and that bird have a very good connection that the bird had to be given up because the owner ended up having cancer he's an old bird, and um, he's, he's not, not an old bird. He's like five or six years old. Yeah. And, old um, and he does like these really cool star Wars laser sounds and stuff like that. And he doesn't, he's not a mean bird, but, um, but him and that, you know, Jaden really connected and I felt very moved. I was just like, wow. And I, I don't know for me, when I was a kid, I couldn't have like like um, I even volunteered at an at an animal shelter, and I really wanted this one black cat named Pudge, and I they wouldn't let me have him. Not them, as in, but my parents would not let me have. Um, as many of you know, I was in foster care, and I couldn't. I, I wasn't allowed to take the cat, and I really wanted Pudge. We were very close. We had this super good connection. I had trained him to sit. And like, you know, sit up and do all these things with treats. And he would meow and meow and meow for me um, every time that I was gone. And, and we had a very close connection. And it broke my heart that I couldn't have him. I begged and I begged and I begged and they wouldn't let me have him. And um, he had already been returned to the shelter twice because he was a really kind of crazy little black kitten. And I just loved him. I totally vibed with him. And I it just broke my heart. And when I heard about the story with Jaden, it just hit me like... Being a child and really wanting something so bad, wanting an animal and having a bond with them so bad and not being able to have it. And I just was like, you know what? Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I felt moved and I asked for his information. I knew there was a GoFundMe. She had told me and I asked for it and I, and I wanted to share it. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm talking about it. It's not just because it's like, Ooh, you know, like here's a good thing. It's like, I actually have a, uh, you know, I know about this individual. I know what's going on. Um, it's not just some random thing. You know what I mean? And I personally feel connected to that because I understand what that's like. And that's why I felt so motivated. And believe me, if YouTubers were not suffering, like right now, our revenue is down literally 50%, if not more. We are making very little money right now off of our videos. Um, and I'm sure you guys have heard about it. I know a lot of YouTubers are talking about it. But the thing about it is, is that I don't like if I had, believe me, if I was doing my normal thing, I would have donated a lot more. I just don't have it right now. You know what I mean? I, I donated what I could. Um, and I know that everybody's suffering right now. So don't get me wrong. If you can't donate, don't feel pressured to do so. But I know that there are people that have not actually been financially affected because they're just working from home. So if you are that kind of person and you do have a little bit, you know, just throw the kid 20 bucks, whatever, throw, throw him a dollar, whatever, like whatever you can oh, just no. to kind of help this kid, you know, achieve something that is almost seems like, you know, the unachievable and I get it. Birds are expensive, but you know what? That bird costs less than like a pick of the litter dog for me. So some people would say, Oh, well, you know, the bird costs a lot. Uh, I can't believe that. And it's like, well, dogs cost more. So, <laughs> and this is an, don't live as long either. yeah. And this is an animal from Africa. You know what I mean? Like a dog here, like this is, you know, we're breeding these animals here. This is an animal that they may have three babies in each clutch and their hand rear. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot more that goes into the, to a parrot than a dog. I just have to say that there really is like, yeah, like hand rearing them. Oh my God. I couldn't do it. Literally. If you ask me right now to start breeding parrots, I would tell you no way. Cause I don't, I don't have it in me to hand rear parrots like that. I just don't have it in me. Um, so anyway, so enough about that. I just really wanted to talk about it. And like I said, I really wanted to show you guys, um, Enzo's new, new perch, his new place, his new hangout spot. Right. So I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys are having a really good day and I'll talk at you later.